Fall has been a bit of a hectic one, as it usually is. But in all of the craziness and running around, I made sure to try and capture as much as I could. The adventures, the foliage, the little moments in between. And now getting to look back through all of these memories, I'm sure glad that I captured them. So chaotic. This story is one that I've been eagerly waiting to have the time to share, as it's honestly a highlight from the past couple of months here in New England. Fall was in full swing, the trees starting their colorful transformation of the season, and Jess and I were all packed and ready to head on up to Maine, to a place where we hadn't yet been before. It was called Three Sisters Farmhouse, and it was in the town of Friendship, Maine. And as we drove on up, the excitement only grew. Passing over the bridge into Maine, making a pit stop at one of our favorite little farm stands, And as we both know, the photos of a place very rarely ever do it justice, and we figured that this town was no different. However, I don't think that either of us really expected just how endearing the spot would be. Come on, Tana. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> When we arrived, I think it's fair to say that it was love at first sight for us both. The golden evening light was making the farmhouse shine in the most welcoming of ways. What is it? Peony. And though we had to unpack and unload, I couldn't help myself from just running around trying to capture it and take it all in at the same time. But soon the light faded, and as we settled in for the night and finally ate some dinner, the excitement was still there. Ideas swirling around with what we wanted to capture and create during our time here. So I woke the next day, before the sun, so as to watch the world awake around me. And I spent the morning smelling the dew on the earth, listening to the birds, singing their morning songs, and just in utter awe of everything that I was experiencing.
We had a slow morning after that, filled with the smells of breakfast, the creak of the floors, and a sense of absolute bliss around us. We were so happy to be here, and being able to be in the space of our own for a few days was something we were really, really enjoying. I love the creek of forest too. Yeah. I can shoot you. And before we shift into a little soup season and all around little montage that hopefully encapsulates just how amazing the spot is, I want to share a few behind the scenes and real life clips of some shit that we get up to. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see
But as our last night at the farmhouse came to its end, as sad as we were to be leaving, our hearts were overflowing. To live in a space that felt like home for a few days, to be lucky enough to do what we love in this life, to connect with the people who create and share their spaces like this one, and to get to experience them and create all sorts of memories that will be cherished for time to come. I can't help but feel beyond grateful for it all, even in the craziness of my busy season, to be able to create in a spot that fueled my inspiration like this one, a spot where for a few days it felt like time stood still. It was magical. And I know it's been a bit since I shared a story here on YouTube, so I appreciate you all still being here and checking in. I know life is busy and crazy for everyone, so for you all to take the time and spend a few minutes means so damn much. I've got some stories coming that I'm real excited to start sharing, and some big news as well. But until then, talk soon.